I'm sure most of you feel that it is an unending battle to get rid of horrible weeds growing in between your paving and your gardens, even on your lawns. But don't stress because there is a way to get rid of them once and for all. We have Tanya Fisser with us, our builder's garden expert, to show us exactly what to do. So Tanya, we are talking weeds and how to rid your garden from them. We're going to show you some chemical alternatives, ways of getting rid of them, and there are a couple of precautions. Obviously, you can see there's a lot of safety equipment here. You need a face mask, okay. um, you need some eye goggles, and you need some gloves. Alrighty, you'll probably recognize one of these guys. I mean, these are weeds that generally take over our lawns, especially this guy over here. And there's also the one that looks like the little sour, sour weed that we often used to chew on as kids. I mean, basically anything that's growing in your lawn that you don't want growing in there is a weed. In fact, the term of a weed is a plant that's growing in the wrong place. So what happens in winter when the lawn starts slowing down with its growth, the weeds get happier and they just kind of take off. And by the time spring arrives, you're like, oh my word, there's more weeds in the lawn than anything. So we've got to find a couple of ways that we can get rid of them. This is one guy that we can use. It's called turf weeder. Now, turf weeder will get rid of what we call annual and perennial weeds. So annual weeds are weeds that kind of come up, grow, seed, and then they die. And then perennial are those ones which will carry on and on and on. Now we are in a sense dealing with a chemical here. How safe is that for the rest of your garden? It's incredibly safe as long as you follow the instructions. Remember, it's like anything in life. And the application for this particular product says 70 milliliters of the product diluted into five liters of water. But that's normally where people stop reading on the instructions. And the other part of the sentence says, and distribute over 100 square meters. It's all about the application. So if you basically emptied five liters over 50 square meters, you've applied a 200% solution, which means that your lawn will die, as well as the weeds. And that is the biggest mistake that happens in terms of applying any of these products. So how do we go about applying it to, to the weeds? Right, so first up we need to do is, I'm gonna get these guys on, all right? All right. Um, I'm going to handle this from now. Great. And we're going to open it up, follow the instructions. Five You'll mil, right there. 50 mils, that's what we want. Okay, so in it goes. Okay. Here we go. Right. Okay, we're going to put this guy back on, seal it all up. Okay, now I want you to get dressed up really sexy. Okay. Is there a doctor in the house? There is indeed a doctor in the house. And. Goggles on for you. And then the right one, which is slightly bigger. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Armed and dangerous. The pressure pump, so we're just going to unlock it and give it a few whirls. Pump it up. Once you've got your pressure going, lock it back into position and away you go. Apply the spray on a sunny, windless day and spread it evenly to avoid any damage to your lawn. Once the weeds have died, apply a greening fertilizer for the best results. Tanya, there we go, but nothing's happening. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you're not using a bazooka or something. What's going to happen is, in a four days' time, these weeds are literally going to outgrow themselves and you'll see them starting to change colour and brown. Whatever the instructions say, it might be three applications a week apart, Follow the same. It's like the same as usual, yeah? Do that <laughs> and you will have all the success that you need and get rid of all those unwanted weeds in your lawn. Tanya, thank you so much. And I really hope that you got some nice tips right now to get rid of all those weeds at home. But if you're still not sure, pluck a couple of weeds, take them down to your local builder's warehouse and they will give you all the advice you need. Cheers. Good job. Nice. Thank you so much, Tanya and Ewan. With those tips, you'll definitely be winning in the garden. Now, talking about winning, this morning we're giving away a Bosch DIY hamper that consists of a Bosch Junior Max, which is a high-quality rotary hammer for drilling. For good measure, we'll also throw in a Bosch PMD-10, which is a wall scanner to ensure that you drill safely as well. That prize is valued at 3000 800 Rand and walking away with that incredible prize. She comes from Cape Town. Zulfa Jacobs, congratulations. That prize is coming straight through to you so that you can do amazing things to your home. On Expresso, we're always giving away fantastic prizes. Let's just let it all sink in while we take a break. We'll be right back after this.